Shoes can make or break an outfit. So today we're going to talk about the spring and summer shoe trends, as well as which shoes to wear with which jean or pant silhouettes. Hello ladies, welcome to today's video. I think this is one of those crucial ones that we just really have to watch. I needed to dig deep into this myself. Just recently I've started doing my spring cleaning, a little spring cleaning, spring reviving in my home, refreshing. And as I've been refreshing my closet, you know, changing out clothes, but getting, putting away the winter ones and putting in the spring and summer things, I've really taken a step back and looked at my shoes to see do I have the shoes to go with the things that I'm putting in my closet this year because our pants silhouettes are changing, aren't they? they? If you're on board with the things that are going on with our pants, then they have been changing. They're getting wider. We're wearing, still wearing a lot of cropped length things or ankle length things, but we still want to wear some full length pants, obviously, and some straight leg pants. So what's a girl to do? Well, today I'm gonna to help you out with that. I'm gonna share with you some great shoe trends that are really fun for spring and summer 2024, as well as what kinds of outfits you would want to wear them with. And I really have some great tips on just how to decide, do these shoes go with this or not? Today's video is sponsored by Bowl and & Branch. And speaking of spring cleaning, not only did I revive and refresh my closet, but recently I have refreshed my bedroom. So I want to show you real quickly some of the things I did in there. Of course, first of all, I have beautiful new bedding from Bowl and & Branch. And this is a treat because during the winter, we have been using one of their down duvets and absolutely loved it. But for the spring, we have refreshed our bedroom with a quilt from Bowl and & Branch. And it's just lovely. But really, our refresh for our bedroom goes even deeper than that. We recently got Bowl & Branch's cloud cover feather bed for the queen size bed. That's what we have in our primary bedroom is a queen size bed so everything I'm showing you is for the queen but of course they have it for kings also we also sleep on the down chamber pillows from bowl and branch and of course we've covered all of that with their beautiful signature eyelet sheet set in white white I just love their sheets I tell you what I've been sleeping on bowl and branch sheets now I think for about a year maybe a little over a year and there is no going back. <laughs> they pioneered organic cotton bedding, making Bowl & Branch the first company in the industry to be fair trade certified. You know, I'd always thought before that thread count was the indicator of really soft sheets, but that's just not true. In fact, it's a marketing myth. And instead, what you wanna look for is the quality of the thread. And that's what Bowl & Branch prioritizes. And because they use 100% organic cotton that is traceable from family farm to finish, they can ensure that there are no toxins or harsh chemicals used in their processes to make the sheet soft like other brands have to use. And so they just really prioritize really great threads and their sheets are amazingly soft. They actually get softer with every wash. And of course we wash our sheets frequently and I can also tell you they do not peel and they do not shrink. You may notice that we have a very deep mattress and we have this feather bed topper on top of it and these Bowl & Branch sheets fit over it really nicely, just no struggle whatsoever. And then we are using the signature hand-stitched quilt in sky and of course the quilted shams as well. We also have the waffle bed blanket in shore over our sheets and underneath the quilt. And then at the end of our bed where I have a waffle mixed stripe throw blanket also in the color shore. So I think these are just the most beautiful, peaceful colors. And so during the winter, we used a deeper green and now we're going with these lighter colors. They're just so lovely. Also our lumbar pillow here is from Bowl & Branch as well as the waffle cover over it. Just so pretty. The good news is right now during all of our spring cleaning and spring refreshing of our homes, Bowl & Branch is having their annual spring event. And so they have so many great things going on right now and you'll definitely want to drop in today because things are going fast. You can use my code K20 for 20% off. So this is a great deal and I can highly recommend everything I've gotten from Bowl & Branch has been exquisite. It's been so soft. The quality is amazing. 
So thank you so much to Bowl and Branch for sponsoring today's video. But now let's move on with the other refresh I've been doing in my bedroom, and that is refreshing my closet and my wardrobe with my shoes. So like I said, I've been kind of straightening things up in my closet, getting you know things situated for spring, and I realized that my shoes, I, I really needed some new things here. Plus there's some things trending. So let's look at what's trending first. I'm gonna be showing you some that I have that you don't necessarily need all of these, but these are some of the ones that I have. And then I'm going to show you how I mixed them and worked them with outfits and really give you some tips for where to wear them, how to wear them, with what clothes to wear them. So one of the first trends right now we're seeing for spring, and these are really wearable for spring, of course, are loafers. But what's really trending this spring and summer in loafers are white and ivory loafers. I'm just seeing them everywhere, and I am so on board. I've been looking at white and ivory loafers for several years as they've been kind of beginning to be on trend as the early adapters started wearing them. So now they're really just really going strong and I bought me some. So I got these from Tory Burch. They're a beautiful soft ivory and they are a very comfortable loafer. And I've seen so many others. I'm gonna link you to several options at different price points down below to different uh, ivory loafers. But also I do have these kind of a nude color, a beige color from Sam Edelman that I bought a couple of years ago and they're still available. They're a little different, a little updated, but they have the same shoe. So if you kind of want to get on this trend, but not really, maybe white or ivory just seems too bold to you, then I would suggest something like this, kind of this bisque or beige color. It's a way just to kind of tiptoe, uh, pun intended, into this loafer trend. The second trend that is very wearable, and I've mentioned it before so many times, are slingbacks. And I do love my slingbacks. I've bought several this year because I've always loved them. They're such an elegant, graceful shoe. And I know I've heard readers, I've had readers say, hey, my, my foot slips out of them, they don't work for me. And I have to ask you this, like, okay, when was the last time you tried some? Because for me, that was the same. I had had several pairs of slingbacks that didn't work, but when they became very popular again this year, I just thought, I'm gonna try them again. And every pair I've tried on really has worked just fine. So I don't know if they've gotten better about it or if it's one of those situations where you just have to try, try, and try again, and not all of them are gonna work for your foot, but others are. So I just encourage you, like, if you want to do the slingback thing, then just try some, just try several pair. Uh, I do sometimes have to work with the strap, you know, like there's a buckle and you can adjust things. And so I generally have to do that a little bit, but they are really working for me and they're just so graceful. And you can get them in flats, like I have these from Talbots that are flats, or maybe they have like a quarter of an inch or half an inch heel, but really low. And then also though, what's really trending are kitten heel height. So that's about a one and a half to two inch heel. And it really is nice for me and the condition that I have. Uh, you certainly can get them higher too, but really the lower heels are what are on trend. I think it is so wise to have some that are in your flesh color. And these by Naturalizer do come in different skin tones. So you can get them in kind of a beige or off-white. You can get them in a mahogany and a deep brown or black. You can get them in so many great colors. So they're really accessible for different uh, skin tones. Now that leads me to another trend and that is metallics. And I say that leads me to that because I do in fact have a pair of slim backs in a beautiful gold metallic that I think are so pretty. And I think they may come in a silver too. Really, in fact, silver is kind of outdoing gold right now, but if you prefer gold, you just wear a lot of gold and go with gold, go with gunmetal, go with whatever, because metallics are just so on trend. So I do love these slingbacks by Sam Edelman. They have a very pointy toe. They are still very comfortable to me though. They don't feel like pointy. I think that's because your foot just really isn't even in that little pointy part. <laughs> but they're a very comfortable shoe, really beautiful, really elegant. And then I also though have some little metallic sandals because of course we're starting to move towards sandals. Now I'm not showing you my feet in any sandals right now because I had a pedicure Monday, but that was before we taped this. So I'm not showing my bare toes any, but uh, and besides that, I think most of us are probably a little bit before sandals right now, anyhow, unless you live really south, but 
Uh, definitely, you know, as you're thinking about replenishing your sandals, include some metallic sandals. I think they're just so smart. They're such a great way to elevate your outfits to add a little summer sunshine to them and they're really on trend right now. Another trend that continues to go strong is the color cognac or I don't know, whiskey or um, I don't even know what other colors, saddle leather, you know, just that, that burnished brown color that we're familiar with, right? I, I think cognac to me is the best color to call it and it just continues to be really on trend. I especially love it if you can find like a straw bag with trim in these colors. I have a couple and that works really nicely for me. You might make sure you have a belt in this color also, but you know, you could go safe with adding any kind of shoe in this cognac color, whether it's a sandal, these from Naturalizer are a couple of years old. We'll see if they come out with something. And I'll try to link you to a few options in sandals, but I also have some beautiful flats and some kitten heels from Ally here. And remember with Ally, you can always use my code. I'll give you those below down in the description box that you can use at Ally for some savings. But that cognac color is so on trend. And I'll show you some of the ways I do wear it, but I do recommend, like I said, having some other accessories in that same shade if that's something that you want to jump on board with. Another fun trend that we are having, especially as we get into spring and summer, is raffia or woven. So you're gonna see a lot of woven raffia straw kind of shoes, uh, especially in sandals. But here are these little slingbacks also from Easy Spirit that I showed in the blog recently. And they really are lovely little shoes with about almost a two inch heel, I think it is. And then I also have these little sandals, little slides here that are raffia with a little buckle. And you're just gonna see so much raffia though, so much woven straw look. I will link you to about 10 or 12 different options down in the description box below. Uh, I'm really loving this trend and I think it's so summery fresh. The next trend of course are sneakers and we've been wearing sneakers like as fashion footwear now for several years, but they're getting just more and more like more, they're just getting more. And right now what's really on trend in sneakers are I guess with retro sneakers, so retro field sneakers and retro track sneakers. So like the kind that you would like, they maybe kind of look like you would wear them to play soccer or to run track, but you wouldn't really do that in these because these are your good sneakers. These are what you're wearing out with, you know, your jeans or even dresses. Boy, when I was in uh, London last year, everywhere I saw women wearing dresses and without a, you know, they were just always wearing them with sneakers. Now, probably maybe when they got where they were going or maybe when they went out to dinner, <laughs> they changed into something else. But during the day, they were all wearing sneakers with really nice dresses. And so you certainly can do that. But today I'm gonna to be showing you how I'm wearing them with some other things too. And then the last trend is something that was really new to me, but hey, I think I'm on board. And that is this kind of open mesh looking shoe and I'm seeing a lot of them in a ballet flat. So here I'm showing you some that are in a ballet flat and they're very reasonably priced here. I think I can probably find you some even more inexpensive, but uh, they're a fun little trend to try. I was really hesitant at first. I saw other people wearing them and I thought, no, I don't think that's for me. But when I saw these, they kind of had that nude look when you, cause you put your foot in there and the little, you can get them in different colors, you know, as far as the trim, and then they kind of have a little bedazzled look too. So I think they're fun, and I'm gonna show you some ways to wear them. So those are our trends. Now let's talk about how to wear them with the different kinds of pants in your closet. Now I'm not gonna go so much into, to dress, in fact, I'm not going at all into dresses and skirts today, because I think most of us really struggle the most with like, you know, different lengths of pants. We have full length pants now and we have ankle length or kind of cropped length pants. And we have pants that are wider and pants that are more narrow or straight. So what do you do? All right, so let's get going on some outfits and some choices. So first I'm wearing a kind of cropped length, kind of a wide leg jean. These are a high rise jean. I think these are by Paige. And I actually did cut them off a little bit because they were just that weird length. And so let me encourage you, if you buy a pair of jeans and they kind of look short on you, but they're not ankle length, they're like kind of hanging down on your shoe, you need to cut them off. You need to either cut them off and that's very on trend to have that raw edge or take them somewhere and have them hemmed. 
for you professionally because really if you're going to wear short jeans then they need to go ahead and be ankle length and ankle length means that they hit right above the ankle bone so like an inch to right above the ankle bone. So an inch above the ankle bone to like sitting right above the ankle bone. You don't want them sitting down at the ankle bone or underneath the ankle bone. Then they're just kind of that weird, ambiguous length. And so you don't want that. So, and that that's kind of really messes you up when you're trying to wear shoes. So that may be one of the issues that you might be having is you have these kind of shorter jeans but like nothing looks right with them. Cut them off, get them hemmed, and I guarantee you, you're gonna see that everything looks a lot better. So I'm showing you too though, it, it's not just about the, the pants. When you're trying to choose what shoe to wear, you also need to consider your top. And you know, I've mentioned in a previous shoe video, so I'm gonna link you to up, up here. This is from last spring, and it's about the shoes, the seven shoes that every woman needs to have in her closet. And I do talk to you there about the things that shoes should accomplish for you because shoes should do something besides just get you to point A to point B. And one of the things they can do is they can bookend your look. And it's not just about necessarily wearing the same color, but sometimes it's about balancing or bookending that look as far as the feel or the weight of your outfit. So in this first outfit with those jeans, I'm wearing a tank top, kind of a nude colored tank top, and this shirt that I'm wearing is a, a linen shirt. I love, love, love it, and I'm wearing it open, so it's kind of easy, breezy, springy, summery looking. So it's kind of light and flowy and everything. So you don't really want a heavy shoe down there. Really, I think what's ideal is I love this ivory loafer here because it kind of mimics the ivory in this shirt, and so it does book in that look. And right now, while it's still cool and you don't wanna wear open-toed shoes, I think this loafer looks really springy, it looks really fresh, and I think it looks really great with these jeans. So a loafer is a good option with that ankle-length jean, even a wide-leg jean. But you also could wear with this wide leg jean and this kind of floaty top and everything, you could wear those little raffia sandals, you could also wear some metallic sandals would work really nicely. Like I said, you can wear sneakers if you need to. Now, as far as the uh, cognac colored sandals, I kind of think, I, I tried here, I tried the cognac colored little flats. And to me, that doesn't work. Now, if I added a cognac colored belt and a handbag, then maybe. But for me, I like a low contrast and intensity. And there's that pop of intensity down there at my feet. So because the rest of this outfit is very soft or low in intensity, that just doesn't work for me. But hey, if you're somebody who likes high contrast and intensity in your outfits, then like I said, just add a cognac colored handbag, a cognac colored belt and cognac colored shoes there and you probably would be okay. It would probably work for you. That said, I don't think that these particular flats really work that nicely here either because they're that little pointy toe flat. They look a little dressy. They look more like a work shoe to me. And I'm not really feeling it with this outfit. But to me, I think that shoe looks a little heavy for this outfit. All right, next I put on some dark wash, ankle length, straight leg jeans. So when I say straight, these are that slim fit straight. They do hit right above my ankle, and I'm wearing the same top situation, okay? So this is a high contrast and intensity. I probably would not normally wear this outfit, but I wanted to show it to you because maybe you do wear high contrast and intensity. So here, I do think though, like even if I wanted to wear this, I think the cognac shoes work really nicely here, but I prefer the cognac sandal because once again, the top is still floaty. I'm wearing a tank top and a linen shirt. If I was wearing maybe like a cotton button up shirt, then I think the flats would look nice. But because this is kind of airy and floaty, I think the sandals work a lot better. So, you know, like I said, it's not just about the, the pants. It's also about your top. You're trying to kind of get some proportion, some balance. And when we're talking about bookending, we're not just talking about color, color at the bottom and the top. We're also talking about aesthetic. And so that's really important to think about, especially in the spring and summer. All right, now I'm wearing the same tops, but this time I'm wearing some linen pants that are also ankle length and they are kind of that same color as the tank top. So it's a very monochromatic look. 
And I tried a few things here. I tried the cognac shoes again. Now I probably should have added a cognac belt. I didn't realize that this, these pants even had belt loops, but they do. So with a cognac belt, especially if you like high intensity, I think the cognac sandals might would work nicely here. But I really, once again, like the ivory um, loafers because it really bookends the look here. You have that kind of an ecru in the, on the inside and it's kind of got the, um, uh, it's a column of ecru and then that white shirt over it and then the white shoes or ivory shirt and ivory shoes. I just really love the way that book ends. But still going with the fact that that's a, a linen shirt and a tank top, I think the raffia sandals still do really nicely or the metallic sandals would work here too. Now I did try another pair of uh, jeans. So these are from Talbot's and they are an ankle length straight leg jean, really nice relaxed fit, love these jeans. And I wanted to try some different things with them because I th thought, you know, you might have some jeans that are just kind of this relaxed fit, straight leg, not wide, not slim, just this relaxed fit that I really love. And here I am wearing a tank top and a little white bomber jacket that I got last year. I don't think this is available or anything, but something like this. So once you see, this is something kind of sporty. So you got several options here. I think sandals work really nicely, of course. You can even wear a little bit of a heel if you need to, like I did with these little uh, raffia sandals. You could certainly wear your sneakers, a low profile sneaker, I think works really nicely here. But I even think that because I'm wearing the white bomber jacket, linen jacket, I kind of think those loafers work really nicely as well. And you have these little flesh color, these little sheer shoes also that really are kind of fun here. So several options, and I think once again, you know, it's really about, um, because when you're showing your ankle, you really can almost wear any shoe, right? You just really can wear any shoe with an ankle length pant. It's so easy, it is the easiest pant length to choose shoes for. However, like I said, it's not just about the pant length or the pant silhouette, you've got to consider your top too. So when you do that, I think that really changes everything. So you wanna think like if I kind of sporty up top, then go kind of sporty with your shoes. Or if you're kind of, or at least kind of heavier up top with your jacket, your shirt, maybe you're like wearing a sweatshirt or something. Like for instance, if you're, this is not on the video, but if you're wearing a sweatshirt, you probably don't wanna wear little dainty sandals, you know, because your, sand, your feet would look kind of light compared to your big old chunky sweatshirt. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about balance is you gotta consider the kind of the weight, the visual weight of your top compared to the visual weight of your shoe. Hopefully that helps. All right, let's move on to some white. Here I'm wearing some white full length jeans. So this kind of represents all full length kind of straight leg relaxed fit jeans. That's really what's in right now. So I'm wearing some white jeans from Talbot's and a pink tank top and a denim jacket. I think a sneaker works great with this particular outfit and with these jeans, it just works really nicely. Yeah, you have your jeans resting a little bit on them, but that's really not a problem. Um, I think it works really nicely. And per first personally here, because it is a straight leg jean, I like kind of a not so chunky sneaker. So I have these Veronica Beard kind of chunky sneakers. I love them and I'll show you them in a minute. But here I'm wearing my Me and M retro sneaker. This kind of more paired back and looks a little bit more simple. And I think it works really nicely with that straight leg jean. Next, I switched to some linen pants. These are kind of a wide leg, cropped length linen pant. And the reason I did this is because I wanted to show you a little bit more dressy options. So you've noticed I've not been wearing the slingbacks with any of those things. And you certainly could wear your slingbacks with jeans. I mean, I have, I do, I will, but not with any of the tops that I showed you. In fact, I will show you some in just a minute that I will, but uh, so far I've not done that. So I just wanted to throw in something that I think work really nicely with the slingbacks that I have, and that is these white linen pants. So first of all, I'm showing them with the flats because if you prefer flats, these work great. These are little nude color flat. They work so nicely here with this kind of uh, really almost monochromatic, just a splash of pink in here. You could even wear that ecru tank top instead of the pink one and have a really monochromatic look. It would be so sharp. In fact, I probably will wear it that way eventually. 
Uh, I just happened to have the pink tank top on, so I kept it on. But I love these, these slingbacks with this. Now, you could also, though, wear the heels. So here I'm wearing the Naturalizer slingback heels, little kitten heel kind of height here. That works great. Of course, remember, when you add a heel, you add a little strap, you add some structure to your shoe, you're gonna elevate your outfit. You also could wear the gold ones. I think the gold slingbacks are so lovely, especially if you're doing something a little dressier. Maybe it's a date night. Maybe you're just going to a little party, a girl's night out or whatever. Don't be hesitant to wear your metallic shoes. Go ahead and wear them. That's what they're for. They're a lot of fun. They work really nicely, especially with this all white outfit. Of course, there are things that just don't work either. Like I would not wear the cognac shoes here. The cognac shoes are gonna look heavy with this outfit. And I probably, unless I just needed to, would not wear sneakers here. Uh, but you could, you know, if you need to wear sneakers because you're doing something, you're outdoors, you're maybe you're walking around a lot, you wanna wear sneakers, okay, once again, uh, I would wear the sneakers, but I would add this particular bag here. I think really balances that out, looks really nice, and go with some kind of low profile sneakers, not the really big chunky ones. And then for my last outfit, it's actually what I'm wearing today as I do this video, is I've put back on the linen shirt here, but this time nothing's under it, just button it up and give it a little half front tuck, and I added a cognac belt, and I've added to those cognac kitten heels. Now, I think a cognac uh, slingback kitten heel would look great here, but I don't have any, so just these little cognac Kitten heels, I think, look so great with these. These are my Me and M uh, jeans. They're kind of a relaxed fit, wide, straight leg, or kind of a wide leg, I guess. I get so many compliments on these jeans. It's amazing. So anyhow, what do you do with your full length, wide leg jeans? Because I am loving them, and I hope a lot of you are too, and I think I'll keep wearing them into the spring and summer because they're so comfortable. You know, they're breathable. <laughs> like your legs can breathe under them. So I think I'll be wearing them a lot. I think what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to wear a little bit of a heel probably, and a heel with a pointy toe is going to look best. Uh, I think I would stay away from that almond-shaped toe or kind of a rounded toe. Uh, you're definitely gonna do best with a pointy toe uh, heel. Now, if you can't wear a pointy toe because that doesn't work for you and your foot condition, I get that. And so then I think I would suggest going with a square toe, quite honestly, just because it's more interesting looking than that rounded almond toe. Now, another great option though is a sneaker. And this time, of course, you are probably, at least for me, because I've kept these at a length so I can wear heels with them, you're going to need to wear a sneaker with a little bit of a heel. And these Ronica Beard sneakers, they do. They have a heel, so they are high enough. Now, the jeans puddle just slightly, but look, puddling is in and wearing them like this is very on trend and I actually love this look. If you don't, then don't wear it like this. <laughs> and I, I do have some white, just leather white, Paul Green sneakers that have a little bit of a wedge heel on them also, and I certainly could wear them too. So if you prefer that look, just a white leather sneaker, then do that. But boy, I tell you what, I love a sneaker with a wide leg jean. It is so on trend, it looks great. So those are some options, and I hope that helped you to think about what shoes, and I get so many questions about what shoes do I wear with what things this spring and summer, so hopefully I answered those. If you have additional questions about footwear for certain things for the spring and summer, let me know and I'll try to answer those in an upcoming blog post or even in an upcoming video of some sort. And uh, I hope that's been helpful though. So thank you so much for dropping in today, ladies. And don't forget to use my code K20 and head on over to Bowling Branch through the link below to check out their annual spring event. All right, I'll see you again next week. Bye now.